Why we do the strap? Why do we do the strap? So you have an anchor. Okay. So if you can do just, I'll show you how to do just the strut in a second. But we use, I like to use the straps coming across because that puts a strut uh, truss system in the middle. Okay. If you know anything about building construction, when you build that truss, even though it's a, even though it's a strap, when you start to tension it up, it gets tight and then it cuts the wiggle out from side to side. So when you get one up like that, that's what you're looking for. You can also take your shark step chocks and fill the void spaces on both sides between the A post and the hood. Do that. It's quick. I'll take that one when you get it when you get the pin in it. Turn it upside down. So you look at that side, it's right up, it's right side up, right? Come right. so look at this side. It's upside down. Still bites in the concrete, the asphalt. Right. So those that grip on the bottom will bite in with, into the street okay. or the ground. Okay. So you can do it either way. Okay? Everybody good? Yes, sir. Alright, so take this down in the back. Ready? Loosen up the strap a little bit. Okay. Hook it. That's right. Okay, and leave it here with me. Put that hook onto the base over there. Put this hook onto the base over here. You can do it a couple different ways. You can hook it into the cluster if you want to, or you can hook it straight into the base. Either one, it works. As long as you have a, a solid contact point. You're on? Okay, so wait, hang on. Okay, now, take your slack out, take your slack out, tension it. All right, go. Tension it. happening to the car. Okay, stop. So we're good. So if we create a little bit of lift back here, about an inch, inch and a half, how much space do we have between the seat post and the ground? Foot? Okay, we got that naturally, right? So if the roof is crushed to the ground, then we have to create a little separation. If you already have separation, you're good. Because guess what? When we cut the back, what's it going to do? It's going to drop down, right? So if the if the back side drops down, the front side is going to want to what? Go up. Go up. So when that happens, we automatically have clearance. So you can cut your A post, B post, C post. Roof will drop down, back, front, back side down, front side will come up, and you have clearance on the whole car. You can take the roof. Now, if we take the roof, and we want to take it to the left, as we look at it, we want to go that way. How do we cut the posts? Lower on this side. 
high, closer to the car on this side. Why? So they don't get caught when it slides out. So it comes through naturally. Same thing going the other way, right? We cut low on this side, we cut high on this side, we take it that way. We cut low on this side, we cut high on this side, we take it that way. It leaves us handles to grab onto too, so we can drag it out. Especially if we have a medic and a patient on it, right? So we can bring them down onto the roof, start to package them there, slide them right straight out on the roof and package right there on the ground. Got it? We can take the doors, we can do a dash roll, whatever we want to do. Car's not going anywhere, check it. I'd go in, right? Absolutely. Everybody feel comfortable with it? This is the fastest way to do it right here. Okay, and it's the cleanest way because you have full access to the trunk. Okay, if you do the truss system, you still have access to the trunk. <coughs> okay, but you're limiting your space as far as crawling in and out. Okay, he's not going in. No, he's too. Okay, okay. He's not going in. You may be going in. He may be going in. But I'm the supervisor, so I won't be going in. So he's going in. Let's all vote. This guy. Okay? Any questions? Okay, so release this. Just a little bit, get it loose, and then we'll show you, I'll show you something a little different. Another way to do it.